Now, a blast was reported yesterday at a popular restaurant in Bengaluru's Whitefields. The blast was captured on CCTV. Now, nine people were injured in the blast at the Rameshwaram Cafe in Bengaluru. One suspect has been identified through the security camera footage and UAPA has been invoked in the case. Now, this suspect who's been detained was seen accompanying the main accused. Uh, now, this entire scene was, of course, captured on the security cameras. Uh, the CCTVs have apparently shown a suspect planting a bag inside the cafe. The cafe owner, in fact, told NDTV as well that the suspect had ordered food, paid the bill and left his bag. The blast occurred moments after he left the cafe. The investigation into the case, of course, is still underway. Right. Uh, now, remember, this uh, blast took place uh, inside the Cafe Rameshwaram in Whitefield, Bengaluru. I have my colleague uh, Pratibha joining us with more details. Pratibha, the investigation is now taking place. We're learning that the suspect who's been detained had, in fact, accompanied the main accused, who was the one seen carrying the bag inside the cafe. That's right. In fact, uh, a dedicated team has been put in place to examine the CCTV footage thoroughly. And uh, they did see this man coming in and planting the bag there and was also sharing the table with another person. The other person, what we know so far from police sources, is that uh, he is from Bengaluru and he was thoroughly interrogated to find out the whereabouts, the details of which haven't been revealed yet. Uh, in terms of uh, the suspect, yes, he. what we hear is that he seems to be between around 25 to 35 years of age. And um, uh, Mr. D.K. Shivkumar, the Deputy Chief Minister, did mention yesterday that a lot of the facial recognition technology, all of that has been put in place to identify this man. Another interesting thing is that there is also a bus stop near Rameshwaram Cafe. And uh, they are looking at uh, the different modes of transport that could have perhaps been used by uh, the suspect. And uh, these are some of the things that uh, they have been looking at. In fact, uh, right from last night, uh, the police officials have been patrolling different parts of Bengaluru to keep the city safe, especially after uh, the incident that has uh, rattled uh, different citizens of uh, Bengaluru. This also comes uh, uh, right at a time when uh, Bengaluru has witnessed uh, uh, several other such cases. Uh, an incident that happened in Mangaluru, another incident that happened outside uh, the Coconut Grove Hotel on Church Street in Bengaluru itself. All of these are also uh, being looked into to find if there is a pattern. What we also understand is that the low intensity blast that was caused by the IED was also pretty similar to the one that is used in uh, Bengaluru. And uh, these are some of the things that have been revealed so far, but then it's only a matter of time before uh, the police would nab the culprit, is what the, de uh, is what the Deputy Chief Minister has promised. Now, uh, what we know is uh, the answer to only what and when, but uh, the other answers uh, that uh, remain, the other questions that remain unanswered are uh, the why and how. Right. And all of that is being pieced together by the police, whether this was a single person's initiative right. or a group that was involved. Right, Pratibha, in fact, uh, what seems to be this image on the screen right now is uh, we are expecting that this is the suspect who had in fact carried a bag. You can see him carrying a black bag. He's wearing sort of a grey pullover with blue jeans. Uh, he has something in his hand as well. He's wearing a white cap. Uh, now, this image, of course, is a screen grab of the CCTV visual already uh, from Rameshwaram Cafe. This also appears to be inside the Rameshwaram Cafe, just close to the kitchen area. Remember, uh, Pratibha, the cafe owner also had told us uh, that um, uh, the suspect had, in fact, placed an order for uh, food and had e eaten the food and then uh, had, in fact, placed the bag there, left it and then left the cafe post which the blast took place. Uh, take us to this image that we've just received as well. Well, in fact, this seems to have happened right at around 12.15 uh, to 1 p.m. when uh, this person seems to have walked into the cafe and uh, generally the procedure is to buy a token at the counter or you can even place a digital order of sorts and then get to the kitchen to collect your order and what we hear from the restaurant owner is that he did order uh, for rava idli which is one of the specialties uh, at the rameshwaram cafe and he was also seen sharing the table with another person now earlier that i mentioned about was uh, the same person who was detained and being interrogated by the police and uh, we also know that there was a bus stop nearby. He seems to have planted the bag there and walked over to the bus stop is what we hear from uh, police sources as well. 
Now, uh, the whereabouts of this man are still being investigated or looked into. Also, the identification parade is also on with respect to who could this man be, where could he come from. All of that is being thoroughly uh, looked into by using facial technology as well by uh, the police at this point in time. And uh, right. also when you uh, look at, uh, uh, like I already mentioned, the IED and all the FSL team as well as the bomb disposal squad that was there did actually uh, talk about the remnants of the bag that was also left behind at the Rameshwaram Cafe and all of that is also being thoroughly investigated at this time.